Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is Tech Flow. Today, we're going to be supercharging your home network. Let's do this. So everybody is going to be thinking, Alex, why have you started a Tech Flow video playing some football down the end of the garden? Well, I'm playing some football down there, but I can't get my messages. None of my messages are coming through. I've got no Wi-Fi. It's rubbish down there. All I've got to keep me entertained is a football, which is fun for five minutes, but then I need some Wi-Fi. I think this will get my Wi-Fi from in the house down the end of the garden. Let's take a look at the Amplify HD. So this is the Amplify HD. Now this is the first unit of the Amplify that's out in, in the UK. This is the first one, it's not actually out in the UK at the time of recording this, but when this video is released, it will be on the release date of this in the UK. This is out in the US, so US guys can go straight ahead, and by the time this video is released, obviously UK guys, you can go ahead. But essentially, this is a glorified router with these two little antennas, right? And I'm gonna show you what the hell these things are for, and also compare it to a bog standard high-end router that you can just go to your local shop uh, and pick up and use at your home. So what makes this better, and how is it gonna supercharge your network? I wanna preface this video by saying this is not sponsored whatsoever. By the way, however, we are giving away three of these, so stay tuned to the end of the video, but this isn't sponsored at all, at all. These are my thoughts and opinions of this device. I've used it for the last two months in this house. So as you can see, this is the Amplify, and you know it's not messing about when it comes in a box with a lovely logo on it like that, and this is the box, and it's, it slides out of there. You open it up, and you're presented with the three products. So let's get the most interesting things out the box first, doing things the wrong way around here. So these are the two mesh points, right? And these are really interesting units. So obviously, as I've said, this is the first one out that's out here in the UK. This has the UK plug on it. And the reason these detach like that is say if you have children or a dog and you've got this plugged in downstairs and the dog walks past and knocks it off, it's not going to bend these pins and break them off. All it's going to do is knock off this, you know, this mesh unit and it's just going to fall on the floor. These things are rugged as hell. They just magnetise on there and you can obviously move them around to get better signal. So those are your two mesh points. More on what they do in a little while. This is your router. This does pretty much what any other router will do on the market. The only difference is that it actually looks decent. You'll see that when I turn it on because it has a little two inch capacitive touchscreen on here with an LED ring around the bottom. Greetings. On the back we've got USB-C for power, one in, a USB port and then four gig Ethernet ports to run off to a wired computer or a switch or whatever. And then keeping it plain and simple in the box you've got in there an Ethernet cable and the USB power supply. In this case this is the English one. That is all there is in the box. Could it get any more simple? No. You don't need instructions with this. You set it up on the app. Right, so I've come up into, well, this is a playroom in my house. The reason I've come into this room specifically is because this is a room that's very central to the middle of my house, hence the word central. So the way this works is you have this main router here. Now, you want to have this, if you're gonna use a system like this, in the center of the house. So then, let's say this sofa is my house, there's the center of my house. What you want is to have that in the center and then one mesh point over to one side and one mesh point to the other. So I've got my phone here, if I'm at the furthest corner of my house, which is up there, the Wi-Fi signal is going to go ding, 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 straight to that phone, right? And if I'm here, it's going to go ding, ding, straight to there. But what you don't want to do, I mean, you can do it, but you don't have to. It will work. You can put that there, you can put that there, you can put that there, so it would automatically go ding, 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 ding. But that's a lot of hops. We don't want that. Ideally, we want this in the center of the house, and then it's going to go ding, 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 straight there, super fast via Wi-Fi. So, before we set this thing up, Let's compare it to a bog standard 5 gigahertz router which I've just plugged in here to my network. Let's do some speed tests in three locations. One in the kitchen, one right next to the router, and one in the lounge. Three places where people are using their devices the most. So for these tests, I've turned off all the other Wi-Fi devices on my wireless access points in this house. And as you can see, we're giving off D-Link 5 gigahertz and D-Link, the 2.4 gigahertz network, which is coming off this. I'm right next to the router, so we're gonna connect to the 5 gigahertz. The downside to this is that a normal bog standard router gives off two separate networks for the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, which is just really annoying. So let's launch speed test and see what we get right next to this router on the 5 gigahertz. I'm gonna test to London, which is the capital of where I live. Uh, and we will see what speeds we're getting. So as you can see with this bog standard router, we're getting 155 megabytes on the download and 111 on the upload. I get about 150 meg up and down into this house, give or take. That's test one right next to the router. Right, I'm sat in the kitchen. 
redo the test. 106 meg on the down, and about 50 up. Interesting. Now we're all the way into the lounge where I haven't got a signal to the 2.4 or 5 gigahertz spectrum of the D-Link router at all. I'm totally, totally out of range. No Wi-Fi in here at all. Right, so I'm gonna unplug our bog standard off the shelf 5 gigahertz D-Link router. Let's install the Ubiquiti Mesh. Right, so the unit is plugged in. I've got us plugged in Ethernet to the WAN port coming from my ISP's modem. I've plugged in the power. The unit is on. It's prompted me to go to the Google Play or App Store to download the app, as to which I have done. I mentioned no no setup like wizard or guide here. You know, no instruction manual. Just download the app. Click Setup Amplify Mesh System. It's going to tell you what to do. Plug it into the router. I've already done all of this, so we'll skip it. Yeah, nice little thing there. It's going to look for Amplify devices, and it's found it. There we go. So I'm going to click on it, and we're going to set this sucker up. So on here is simply asking me to enter a wireless network name and a wireless network password. Now this device is going to merge together the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band and automatically put you on whatever band it thinks you want to be on, depending on how far you are away, whether you want to be in 2.4 for range or 5 gigahertz for speed, it's going to make the same SSID and choose what you should be on. So just for sake of purpose, I'm just going to call this Amplify and give ourselves a password of 1234567. As you can see, the mesh point says configuring, done, simple as that, and then we're greeted. We have now the time, and I mentioned this was a touch screen, so you've got your time, you've got, well, the kilobytes of data used, and the current date, and then you've also got the one IP address and the router's IP address, and then this is really cool, this is the speed, I like to leave this up. So I'm going to join here our network amplifier, and in a second you'll notice that there's one SSID for both D2.4 and 5 gigahertz spectrums, simple, clean, and right next to the router, let's do a speed test. Right, so I'm right next to the router. I'm going to do a speed test here on speedtest.net, right next to the router, and we'll just see what we get here. Right, so quick speed test of right next to the Amplify. There you go, all the way up to 150. Whoa! And then on the upload, Jesus, that was mad! Okay, you see what I mean now? Right, let's go and plug these mesh points in and get this going around the house. There we go, our mesh points are plugged in. Let's wait for them to automatically configure. We don't have to do anything, just plug them in. Second test here in the kitchen right now. Let's see what happens. There we go, almost 100. Then the upload should be rapid as well. There we go, that, that's peaked at 100 then. It's fallen down because obviously the internet's sucking. But we're in the kitchen right now, 81. Let's redo this test, let's see what we get again. So we're getting about 80 odd in the kitchen. Let's go into the lounge. So as you can see, I can seamlessly roam round my house, connected to the same one SSID, and I'm currently stood in the lounge where we had no signal to the previous router off the shelf, and I've got full signal to the Amplify Mesh system. So let's do a test in here and see what we get. No strings attached here, just, just a simple speed test. Let's see what we get. 23 ping, and that's jumping straight up. We've clocked 50, it clocked 50, there we go. Rapid, 30 up, 50 down. Full signal in the corner of my house. Right, this will blow your mind. Okay, I'm literally stood in my garden, right? I've still got full signal. Do you see how this is like a revolutionary technology, this mesh stuff? Let's see what speed we get. Just getting signal in the garden is good enough. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> I'm in the middle of my garden pulling 50 meg off my Wi-Fi. The proof is in the speed test. Who cares about pudding at this point? So as far as mesh systems are concerned, that is that demonstrated. We have a wireless link from here to the one mesh point and here to another mesh point which gives me signal all over my house. But the Amplify system goes like even further than that. You get this awesome little app with the, obviously the, 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 the main unit in the middle and then the signal to each mesh point. And then if you do have it in the configuration where it goes from the main router to one mesh point to another, it will display that in order here. So it'll put the router there, signal to one mesh point and signal to the other. It tells you the, uh, the full status. So as you can see here, everything is great. We can look at the performance uh, of our network, see it live, do an ISP speed test. We can enable a guest network for a certain amount of time. So if I've got some guests coming over for five hours, I can have maximum 10 guests for five hours let's start that bad boy there we go my guest network is now activated you can do things like go onto certain devices like this which is my phone and I can click on here and even just pause the internet to my phone so if I've got a kid that's going to bed right 
God forbid I never want that ever. But I can pause his iPad or his phone so he's not on his phone in bed or messing about on his stuff and I can re-enable it in the morning. It is honestly incredible, but at the same time, so simple. And I don't know how to really tackle this review because I'm reviewing a router and how boring is that? Like a router is a router. But this, I've never seen anything like it and I love networking. And as far as ease of use compared to ease of setup is concerned, I've never seen anything like this. It's insane. This is brand new stuff, all this mesh stuff, pretty much for the end of 2016 to 2017. So that's that. That is the Amplify Mesh by Ubiquiti. I 100% rate this product, not sponsored whatsoever, and it would literally be very illegal for me to say that if this video is sponsored. It isn't, but we're also giving away a few of these units. Uh, first place winner's gonna get an HD unit, which covers like 25,000 square feet. Second user's gonna get a winner, sorry, is gonna get a, uh, the LR unit, and the third user or winner is gonna get the standard, the box standard unit. If you want to win, all you have to do is drop a like on the video and comment down below on this video what router you are currently using in your house. Or, if you're not in your house, what router are you currently connected to? Right? And if you're not connected to anything, tell us how you're watching this video. Ethernet, 4G, 3G, Edge, let us know in the comment section down below. This has been Techflow, my name's been Alex. We'll catch you in the next one.